what is up guys this is Jacko2011 here and welcome back to yet another Windcraft let's play episode and this is episode 7 and today we have two quests that I'd like to do we have the studying the corrupt and the macabre masquerade, masquerade Halloween 2014 but first I wanted to buy some uh, some new pants some new tra trousers you know so that's what we're gonna do we're replacing these the Nipen with the Nemrek waiters so now we have we have quite a lot of HP now but now we have to go to where is it time valley time valley so that's where we'll we're, we're gonna go to time valley now it's gonna take quite some time because it's quite a long journey over there but I hope it doesn't take too long at least it shouldn't okay come on so I think we actually also unlocked a new skill Last episode. Let me try and see if it works. Yeah, it works. The uppercut spell. Cool. The uppercut spell. So we unlocked that last time by hitting level 21. I was just one shot these. I'm one shotting these guys. I didn't know that I could one shot them, but I am level 21, so I should be able to do quite some good damage to these guys. They're not that high level to be honest, so it doesn't really surprise me. Come on, let's beat them up. Let's beat them up. Okay, I also gotta wor worry that... Watch out that I don't lose all my energy or mana. Because then I can no longer run. And we would like to be able to run. Okay, what about this guy? You done good, son. Wait, so... We have to go over there. Ooh, there's a chest up here, though. Let's check this out. Uh, how do you get to this chest, though? Do you have to climb the tower or something to reach it? Maybe you do. Let me try, at least. You never know. Before you know. Uh, I cannot even leave. Uh, no. A failed attempt at getting that chest. No, there's a zombie. Got him. He didn't stand a chance, so it's fine, I guess. Can we get up over here then? Oh yes, I think we can. Whoop, and we are just climbing all the way up to get to the chest. Uh, there was nothing in it. Nice. <laughs> so we have to go all the way over here. And we jumped quite a, a lot there. We have to go to that place afterwards. So it's kind of a bad way to go over there. Because we're going to go back this way as well. Pants, nah, unique. I at least want some rare ones. Okay, so w now we're in Elkhorn, which is not a very popular city, I guess, in Windcraft. It's not very small, very large. Uh, okay, there's some description as well right there. Cool. So we just had tool merchant as well. These buildings, they look beautiful, man. Jeweling, oh, cool. But I need to be like level, of, uh, high level in ores and such, which I am not on this account. So that is not very good. I'm quite le high level in uh, tree cutting on my main account. I'm level 60, but I still know a lot. Holy moly, excuse me guys, I just sneezed there, almost, at least, I don't, I'm not really sure. <laughs> But yeah, I need to get my levels up in um, ore mining, whatever it is called. I think it's called mining. At least. But we gotta talk to these uh, wizards here. The Potter. Harry Potter. Which one is it that we have to talk to? Stop, stop, stop. This isn't working. Great. Now Arachne Soldier is here for a progress report. Yes. Soldier, we haven't made any progress getting to Gareth. Truth is, we simply don't know any enough about him to know how to deal with this. Maybe if you could help us find more, we could figure this out. Maybe I could. Gareth, many years ago, lived and studied in Elkhorn. It might be a good place to start. Well, alright. I guess that's the, the premise of the quest. That we have to find out more about this guy. That, what, what was his name? Gareth, yeah? So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, guys. So that's cool. Mm, this way. Oh wait, Elkan was over here. 
I better not go the wrong way or else it will take a lot of time. A lot of wasted time that I don't want to spend. So, we gotta go talk to some guy in here. In Elkin. Oh, I'm going the wrong way around. Wow. I cannot even jump onto this roof. See, here's a birch. <laughs> you gotta be level 10. And here's a potion maker. Yeah, these potions, they're quite too low level for me. A cooking station. Nice. So we gotta talk to this guy. And he basically says, uh, yeah, he's in the church down here. And yes, I already know where the church is. It's right here. And he gave me some kind of key so I can open up his old basement or something. So that's what we're, 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 we're gonna do. Where are we gonna go? Basically. There's some kind of zombies. There were 24 though. Noble warriors. 22 combat EXP. That's not a lot. Oh, what? That one is fast. There's a lot of them. Oh, that what? I didn't even one shot that one. Wow. Uh. Gareth. Sh Gareth. Sh journal. 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 I think it's journal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, they what for the blah? Just a bunch of talk. No, I cannot skip it either. I don't need to hear all of his diaries, journal, whatever. <laughs> wow. Just run around, jumping inside of spider webs, spider cubs. What is over here? It looks quite interesting down here. I say down here, and we are 74 blocks up. Uh, what? I can also hear some water. Where is that coming from? Is that just this thing? I'm just taking a bath. <laughs> okay, I think it's it's done now. Come on! Investigate the old underground area. Search around the south side. Okay, so I have to find this camp now. Which is at the nether portal. So I have to go all the way over here. Which is quite a long journey through the nether. Level 20 potion. Yes, thank you. Oh no, there's a blaze. I don't want to fight these blazes. Just skipping through. Oh my god. They are strong. So I don't want to. I don't want to mess with them. Look how much damage they're doing. And they are ranged. I am not ranged. Oh my god. Okay, so we gotta go in here now. Oh, there's another thing. Go away, please! 64 EXP, that's quite good actually. Oh, this mage. What does a Rackney soldier do here? Well, I guess I do a bunch of stuff here. Okay, and the camp is right here. <laughs> wow. Not very, very, not very hard, honestly. So now we gotta talk to this guy again. Uh, what are you doing here? This is off limits. You just spoke to me, man. How are you already telling me to go away? You just spoke to me. How does that make sense? I honestly don't get it. So, we're gonna find the Gareth's camp. And see what he has hidden for us as hidden surprises. Oh, don't walk away when the mage is talking to him. Alright, I'll follow him. Allow me to assist. Oh, I'm getting attacked again. 61 EXP. It's quite good, actually. Come on, open it up, please. He's hitting the wrong areas. <laughs> wow. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. That definitely took its time. So now I have to get through... All of this place. So here's the old camp. Can I skip through this one? Oh, I can't. No. I can feel my mind slipping through my very mindscape. I fear this may be my last entry. I visualize Gareth's next few words. What's he doing? 
Oh no! And he threw him into the portal of corruption. And he's coming right. He's coming out! Ah! <laughs> well, get rid of that. So Gareth got corrupted, basically. Uh, so is it repeating itself now? Oh no, it's repeating itself. Why though? And that guy just comes out of nowhere. Bring their quiet knowledge regarding the spell used for the sanctuary, sealing back to the mages at the sanctuary. Okay, so I have to go all the way back now, and then after that we can do the Halloween quest. Which is very nice, very nice, guys. Dried stains of red can be seen on the page. Oh my god. Please let me leave. Oh. And I'm out of here. So many things in here. Magma monster. Do these. How much EXP? 20 EXP? That's nothing! It's absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna go th this way up. Bye bye! Emeralds. Ooh, I wonder if I can mine them eventually. A chest with a few emeralds. Oh, you can mine gold right here. Nice. We're climbing up the ladder. I have no horse yet. It's quite sad to have no horse. I really need a horse. Well, it's not that far away, the sanctuary, so I guess it's fine. Doesn't make me cry or anything like that. So Elkhorn is right there. You can see right there. Cool, right? I think it looks beautiful. Just hanging outside of the, out of that cliff. So now we just gotta get to the sanctuary again. Let's go. Just gotta get to that big tree right there. Is that tree on top of this arch thing? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Another tree up there. I really think this is quite cool. But now we gotta get to the sanctuary. And talk to Putter. Welcome back, soldier. Still no lucky, I'm afraid. Did you find out anything about Gareth's past? I see. We had no idea he was corrupted. We didn't even consider that for a second. <gasps> what is happening? Well, if that's the case, it might just be simple case of... What? Oh no! What? They're destroying the thing! Success! Success! Ooh! Uh, what? What happened to my EXP bar? Look at it! Uh, let me check. 148%? How does that make sense? Ha! <laughs> what? How does that make sense? Uh, I broke my EXP bar. I don't know how. <laughs> I need to find a mob to kill that can give me some EXP so I can see if it's broken or something. Because I don't really know if it's broken right now. I've never tried this before. There are no mobs! Mobs! Maybe this guy can give me some e EXP. Oh yeah, now I leveled up. That was weird, and I'm like almost halfway through 22 now. Cool. Whoa, that guy was fast. Did you guys see that? 
And he, I'm not even as fast as him, even with my uh, charge spell. Wow. What an insane guy. Abandoned mines do not enter. No, thank you. So we have to go this way. And I must need to get. <coughs> Holy moly, guys. Sneezing all the time in this terrible weather outside. It's quite ridiculous that the weather can be so terrible. Look at these giant trees. How is this an oak? Doesn't even look like an oak. I'm just one shotting these guys now. Like, I think five episodes ago, I, w I could hardly kill these guys. And now I'm just like one shotting them. Wow. So, all the way. I have to go past Mount Win on the other side of it. So, not this side. I'm going the wrong way right now. I cannot one shot these guys though. They're they're still quite tough. Still quite tough. Hmm. So here is the spider dungeon, and I don't want to do that one. I don't even know if I can do it. Have I not done it already? Actually, I cannot remember. No, it's it's this quest. Yeah, I have not access that dungeon yet <laughs> wow well that's all right I guess no problems with that oh this is beautiful the waterfalls and such is there some kind of lake up there I actually want to check it out maybe it's some beautiful fountain why not check it out Oh, this is beautiful. And there's a chest up here. And the water just comes out of nowhere right here. <laughs> wow. There's also some water here. Which does seem to come from a lake. But how does that lake have like infinite water? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, so we just have to go all the way down here. I and talk to this guy. Hmm, let's see. Wow. Oh, pardon me, I was distracted. Luckily, you're here because I got some assistance. You see, I was just on my way back from that large mansion near Nisak, where I went to acquire some antiques from an old business partner. However, along the way, a valuable cursed mask escaped from my caravan and somehow made it this way into the dark mine over there. I would have gone after it, but the things I have in this caravan are too important to leave by themselves. Not to mention that the caves seem to corrupt from the inside out. You must help me retrieve the mask, for I must depart in three days. Could you brave the shadowy cave and bring it back? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I could. So let's go. This is the corrupted cave. So we have to go and get his mask back. So that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. Mask minion. 55 EXP, that's actually very good. Very good. And they're not even that strong. Easy peasy, man. Lemon squeezy. Oh. Jumping through the parkour. Oh! Uh, what? Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna follow these arrows. I don't know where I went. I think I have to go up to the parkour again. Uh, this is a different parkour though. What? Well, I'll see where this ends up at then. <laughs> okay, I'm going somewhere now. Haunted torch. When the XP? It's like nothing. 3 XP. These things are terrible. Unidentified helmet. Ooh, it's green. That means it's a set, apparently. Another candle. Oh, it's not. Uh, an alive candle, I guess. <laughs> it 
The mask minions, they give a lot of EXP actually. 50 XP to 60. And I'm not even the the correct level to fight them yet. Gotta be level 24 to get the most EXP out of them. I can actually see my EXP bar raising up as well. Well, now we go down here. Oh. What is that supposed to be? Oh! Holy moly, that was close. I'm going to the left one. And I am here, I guess. Haunted mask. Oh, there it is. And it's weak to earth. That's just great for me. Oh, his minions give a lot of VXP as well. Uh, where is he? Oh, go away! How is he invisible? He's on fire, but he's still invisible somehow. I killed him. Nice. They give a lot of EXP these things though. I could get to like level 30, no, 23 I mean. And then just like finish the quest I guess. But they're not really spawning in that fast, so I will not do that. So, this way. Alright, come on, come on, come on, let's go. So we're climbing up the ladder again. To get our EXP. Why is there a zombie right there? Go away! Whoa, why did it use a spell? You've met a terrible fate, haven't you? I was just about to run the whole way to Nemrek to get help. I would really like to hear what you encountered in the cave, but I must prepare to leave, for I have many masks to sell. And I got 10,000 EXP, holy moly, and a bunch of emeralds as well. 10,000 EXP, that's a lot. I wonder if there are any other quests. Cluck Cluck and Pit of the Dead. I would actually like to do Pit of the Dead because it gives a huge damage boost. So I think we're going to go and do that one before we end of this video. So we are finishing three quests in one video. That That's quite a lot actually. It, it may just because I'm so fast when uh, doing these quests. You never know. Going all the way over here. I just have to get to the pit of the dead. I may as well like get to level 24 this um, this session, this video. Because why not? Level 24 is a good level. Let me actually check. I get two more quests at level 24. And two more at level 25. Oh, it's just a slay. Wow. Rip. And two more at 26. There's a lot of quests right now. So that's nice. Instead of having to grind all the time, just use some quests. Way cooler. Okay, let's do this. Wait, why is it so laggy? 43 actually. 31. That's not too shabby. 15. That's not a lot though. That's quite terrible. <laughs> we are going over to this place. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere to the pit of the dead, cause why not? Uh, what was that? Oh my god, what is that? The underworld crypt key something. What is that thing? It's It keeps on running away from me. And I killed it. Underworld Crypt Key. Oh, that's the dungeon in there. Nice. Now I have two dungeon keys. But that guy was tough. He was jumping around like crazy. Oh. They're teaming on me. I'm reporting you for teaming. <laughs> Can we get another? Another potion down there in my hot bar. I 
And I gotta go to the pit of the dead, which is right over here, I think. Yep, there it is. It's a very easy quest, though, so that's nice. I don't want to talk with you. So he wants me to go down there and uh, befriend the dead. The dead people. He wants me to become their friend. Oh, wait, they have changed the quest. It doesn't look like what it did before. Definitely not. This is not what it was like before. Before it was way easier. At least from what I can see right now. I wonder if it says short still. Yeah, it, is, it still says short. Short quests are the best because they're the easiest. Oh yeah, they've kept this place of the quest though. So a lot of things will come to uh, and are trying to attack me here. I think they do quite a lot of damage, so I'm going to just like, see if I can avoid them. Why are they all hitting me? Wow, they're terrible. And I have to jump into the water. Woohoo! Nice. So now everything has changed, and the spirits are appeased. And running around, having fun, I guess. Nothing too special. So now we're going up again. And we're already back. <laughs> wow. And we leveled up. I got these boots, which I actually want to go and ID. So we're level 24 now, actually. We're quite high level. No, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding, man. We're not high level yet. We will be quite high level when uh, we get to the end game, of course. But that's kind of self-explanatory, of course, as well. Okay, so... Well, see if... No, oh, I could get all the way over. Rip. I just want to ID this thing before we end of this episode. Come on. There we go. What are those things? I've never seen these things before. Silt formation. Oh. You're attacking me as well. What else would I expect? <laughs> uh, item identifier. Come on. Give me something good. Please. Praise the Lord. Uh, I guess this is good. It isn't as good as it uh, was before. But I guess it's fine. It's got some mana steel as well. So these are the, the trousers that we just bought in this episode. But these are the new ones. They give poison as well. So a good damage boost actually. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of, right, of Windcraft. And if you enjoyed leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.